All right, we're on hole number six of the 2020 Summer Major. We're in Monday's practice round in the rookie division. Let's go to Golf Class Notebook and check out hole number five. Hole number six. Hole number six is hole number five. This par five right here. I don't even remember this all. What is it? All right. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can go at this. I'm going to do the max hour power hook shot where I'm trying to clip the rough and bleed out and end up. There's a small little window here. There's a small little window in this area. If we draw a line from the cup and you're coming out on this trajectory, there's a small window out here that you can get in where you've got this lane open. And if you bring a sniper, you can do a rough bump. Now there are risks in bringing a sniper. If you don't end up in this window where you've got to go around the trees, you're going to have to stop the ball and the, and the sniper may not have enough backspin, especially if you've got a lower developer, not a maxed out sniper, you may have a hard time controlling it. So a guardian may be a better all round club for this because if, but you can't do the rough bump with a guardian. You'll have to start off on the fairway side and backspin it towards the hole. The key is clipping this rough and bleeding out here so that you're in this area. Because if you miss the rough, it's very easy to end up in the rough over here. Or if you clear it and you don't end up in the rough over here, you end up on a trajectory where you're behind these trees. Now you can hit down here and then come at it with a big dog and get on and you can get a very easy eagle here. But there is a legit albi shot if you're in this area right here with a sniper. So that's where we're trying to get here. And I'm going to bring an extra mile and a quasar. And I think the key here is, is that I don't have to do max top spin. So I'm going to start to dial this shot in because I'm not exactly sure what needs to be on this shot. I'm going to bring a quasar. So if you have, and what may help you is on the second shot, if you've got a power one, low wind, three, it'll quit flashing me, two sides spin ball. And they're going to emoji spam me the whole time. This is why I hate logging into my account with Facebook. I try not to log into my account with Facebook. I try and log in with a, either a phone number or an email address because they sit there and emoji spam you. And emo now, we're done off of the freaking desktop, and they're still emoji spamming me. It's kind of funny, though, that when they use their splash screen, when Playdemic's doing their stuff, they stop that. But, like, right now, I'm getting emoji spammed by the game It'd be very easy for them to stop that we are out on the course right now we're no longer at the clubhouse i don't need to know that those people are logging on and so all you're doing is wanting is promoting me to log out of a service that you have that you want me to be logged into Now you can try and hit, if you bring out the right equipment, you can try and hit off of this and try and bridge the gap to get over here. But in a lot of cases, you're going to find yourself either in the rough or behind those trees, but you can get it done. You can get out there in a nice little area. They're going to run out of time. Boom, out of time. Oh, I can't believe they got that off. There's a delay between us and them. So a lot of times we're seeing it at zero, but they still have a few seconds. Now, you can see from where they're at right here, they, they are behind the trees. And I'm not going to be hitting through those trees. <laughs> we do not want that to happen. Okay, I'm going to come off of this about a half a ring, that little red tree right there. Max, and I'm only going to put on, I'm going to put on four topspin. Let's start at four and see what happens. I'm going to take the wind out. Two, four. Four, six. And I got all of it. Let's see if I clip the rough right. And I was on the inside of the rough. That'll put me in the rough. But you can see where my line was. So if I'd have put three topspin on right there, that would have been perfect. I wouldn't have rolled out and I would have been right on the trajectory. So we'll put in three top spin. Three top spin. One. 
ring left of tree. And if I don't hit the ref right there, it, as long as I can stop and not end up in the ref, ideally I've taken that rough bump a bunch of times where you take the rough bump and it, and it bleeds you right out to where you want to be. The key is just trying to set that up so that we have a, a repeatable over and over and over we end up in the right spot. You can see I don't have enough topspin here to, to do the rough bump, so I'm going to have to come right at it. It's about 4-3. Let's try and hit it perfect. Get it two rings great to the left. Up there for an easy eagle, but I, if I would have, you have really, in my mind, the best, most legitimate shot at Alby that you have is that rough bump that's there. So if you can put yourself in the right spot, I'll continue today because I'm going to play my practice account today as well, and I will practice in it to try and get the numbers worked out so that I'm in a very consistent spot so that come Tuesday or Wednesday when I'm actually qualifying, I'm ending up in the spot where I've got a legit Alby shot coming in. If I can get into the area where I'm taking that sniper shot to get in, I'm going to do 0% to the cup. I'm not going to do any elevation. I'm just going to take a straight up shot, take the wind out. Let my opponent catch up, force a shootout, get a little bit more practice in on these shootouts. Getting their birdie. Getting a birdie. Forcing a shootout. Dropping a shot here and there so that I can be aggressive on some of the holes. Of the par fives, really, that's the only par five that you have a legit shot at getting Albi. It's not that you can't get Albi on the other ones, but uh, it's not uh, It's not going to be nearly as easy. They're not real high percentage Albi holes. So there's min. There's max. That's mid. So we're eking towards the max. I'm going to do like a 1.1 per ring. I'll put just a little bit on it so that I go a little farther up the hill, which will carry a little more speed down towards the bottom. So just a little bit of top spin. 4.9, 1.2, it's about four and a half rings. I'm way off trajectory with the wind. Hitting it perfect. I was running out of time. I didn't do any elevation adjustment there. I just taken a straight up shot and <laughs> didn't pull enough out. <laughs> so even though I was not in max club, I probably should have did a max number. See if my opponent can hit perfect. I was sitting here daydreaming. I was thinking about, uh, I don't know what I was thinking about. I was just daydreaming. You know, I went brain dead for a few seconds. Very nice, very nice. Good luck in the tournament. All right, that was hole number six.
of the uh, 2020 Summer Major and Monday's practice round in the rookie division. We need to make sure we do not qualify today. So I'm going to make sure that some of these people are going to work their way up the scale, but we want to make sure we do not qualify today. All right, I will catch you on hole number seven. Thanks for watching.